let us let us start this question a curve has parametric equation x equal to squared minus t y equal 4t divided by 1 minus t t not equal to 1 find dy by dx in term of t given your answer as simplified fraction now x is a function in t and y is a function in t he need dy y dy by dx now let us start dy dy by dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx so let us start to find now dx by dt we have x equal to t squared minus t so from here dx y dt equal to 2t minus 1 so dt by dx is equal to 1 divided by 2t minus 1 and this is the first part that we need the second part is dy by dt let us start to write y y is equal to 4t by 1 minus t minus 1. So I changed a little bit the, the, the y equation. Now let us start dy by dt is equal to. Now 4, the second part 1 minus t minus 1 plus the first part as it is 4t multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by here also minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus t minus 2. Let us start to write now the equation. It will be equal to 4 divided by 1 minus t. Now minus minus equal to plus, so plus 4t divided by 1 minus t square. Now the final answer here, dy by dt is equal to, let us start to make 1 minus t square, so 4, 1 minus t plus 4t is equal to 4 minus 4t plus 4t divided by 1 minus t squared so it will equal to this part so is this part so 4 divided by 1 minus t square now again dy so this part is dy by dt so now dy by dx is equal to 4 divided by 1 minus t square multiplied by 1 divided by 2t minus 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 2t minus 1 so it will equal to let us now change the the equation 1 minus 2t plus t squared multiplied by 2t minus 1 now will equal to 4 2t minus t t minus 4 t squared plus 2t cube minus 1 plus 2t minus t squared so it will equal to 4 
Now we have two T or three, two T or three. Minus four T minus four uh, minus T it will be minus five T squared, and then two T two T plus four T minus one, and this is the part dy y dx. Let us go ahead to see the another part. Find an equation for tangent to the curve at point B where t equal to minus 1. Given your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where a and b and c are integers. To start to solve this part, by this point we have y, x and y. We can find the equation, we can find the point B. Now t equal to minus 1. x is equal to squared minus t. So it's equal to minus 1 squared minus minus 1. So it's equal to 2. y is equal to 40, y is equal to 40 divided by 1 minus t. So it's equal to 4 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 1 minus minus 1. So minus 4 divided by 2 equal to minus 2. So the point now is minus is 2, x is 2. And y is minus 2. So we find now the point. Okay. Now let us the equation of any line y. y is equal to mx plus c. m here is the dm is equal to dy by dx. Dy by dx, we find this value in the previous part, is equal to 4, 2t cubed minus 5t squared plus 4t minus 1. So, dy by dx at t equal to minus 1, so m is equal to 4. 2 minus 1 power 3 minus 5 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus 1 minus 1. So minus 2 minus 5 minus 4 minus 1 minus 12. So the equation is 4. Divided by minus 12, so m is equal to 1 over minus 1 over 3. So now y is equal to minus 1 over 3 x plus c. We have points, so at y equal to minus 2, x is equal to 2 plus 3. So here c is equal to minus 2 plus 2 over 3 so it will equal to minus 4 over 3 so now the equation y is equal to minus 1 over 3 x plus minus 4 over 3 let us multiply now by 3 so 3 y is equal to minus x minus 4 so x plus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 and this is the equation that we need okay this is the equation that we need let us start the last part of this question The tangent to the curve at B 
cut the curve at the point Q. Use algebra to find coordinates of Q. This is part C. Now the equation is the line x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 0. We know that x is equal to g squared minus t and y is equal to 4t divided by 1 minus t. So let us go by x and y, add them in the equation of the line. So t squared minus t plus 3 multiplier by 4t divided by 1 minus t plus 4 is equal to 0. Let us multiply by 1 minus t. So t squared minus t by 1 minus t plus 12t plus 4 1 minus t is equal to 0. t squared minus t power 3 minus t plus t squared plus 12t plus 4 minus 4t is equal to 0. So now minus t power 3 here t squared t squared plus 2t squared now minus t minus 4t minus 5t plus 12 plus 7 t plus 4 is equal to 0 so the equation will be t power 3 minus 2 t squared minus 7 t minus 4 is equal to 0 let us bring our calculator equation 5 4 Now 1, enter, minus 2, enter, minus 7, enter, minus 4, enter, enter. x1 is equal to 4, so t equal to 4, t equal to minus 1. So the first t is equal to 4 and the second t is equal to minus 1. The first t is equal to 4. So, and the second one is equal to minus 1. Let us find the x. Or t equal to 4. So, x is equal to t squared, 4 squared, minus t, minus 4, 16, minus 4 is equal to 12. And y is equal to 4 multiplied by t divided by 1 minus t. So it will equal to 4 multiplied by 4 divided by 1 minus 4 it equal to 16 divided by minus 3. So Q is equal to 12 and minus 16 over 3. This is our point. This is our Q. As you know, at t minus 1, this is point B. You remember the first part of the question? The second part here in the question, you remember here, where the point B where t equal to minus 1. So at t minus 1, this is the first point, which is B. The second one, Q at t equal to 4. The second one, Q at t equal 4, which we have here. That's why I take t equal to 4. Okay, let us go ahead to the second question. Find the integration of x sine 2x dx. So let us divide now this part is u and this part total here is dv. So now I have integration of u d v is equal to u v minus integration of v d u. Okay. Let us now start to find u 
is equal to x and du is equal to dx. Now dv is equal to sine 2x dx. So v equal to the integration which is minus half cosine 2x. Let us now go to the equation. Now u multiplied by v. u here is x. So x multiplied by minus half cosine cosine 2x minus integration of u v du du is dx and v is equal to minus half cosine 2x dx so it is equal to minus half x cosine 2x plus half integration of cosine 2x dx so it will equal to minus half x cosine 2x plus half and here 2x multiplied by half sine 2x plus c so let us find the final answer so the final answer is equal to 1 over 4 sine 2x minus half x cosine 2x plus constant. And this is your final answer. Okay? Let us go ahead to the second part. The second part, find the integration of x plus 2x squared dx. So let us start to find this integration. We need the integration of x plus sine 2x squared dx. So let us now find the integration of x squared plus 2x sine. 2x plus sine squared 2x dx. Let us divide. Integration of x squared dx is equal to 1 over 3x power 3. Integration of 2x sine 2x we find already at the top which is equal to the part that we write it here 1 over 4 so it will be 2 over 4 sine 2x minus half x cosine 2x so this part will equal to 1 over 2 sine 2x minus x cosine 2x. The last part is the integration of sine squared 2x dx it is equal to half 1 minus cosine 2x. So sine squared 2x is equal to half 1 minus cosine instead of 2x here 2 multiplied by 2 for x. So now I can write this integration to be integrate of half outside 1 minus cosine 4x dx 
so it will equal to half again and then open the bracket integration of uh, of f1 is equal to x and then minus 1 over 4 sine 4 x plus c so it would equal to half x minus 1 over 8 sine 4 x plus c the integration of what is the integration you need x plus sine 2x squared dx x cubed over 3 x power 3 divided by 3 plus half sine 2x minus x cosine 2x which is this part and then plus half x minus 1 over 8 sine 4x plus c. And this is the final answer. Okay. Let us go ahead to the last part. Now we have this curve in figure 2. Figure 2 shows a sketch of part of curve C, which equation is equal to x plus sine 2x. The region R shown shaded in figure 2 is a boundary by C, the x-axis and the line with the equation x equal to y over 2. The region R is rotated rotated through two y radians about the x-axis from the solid revolution. Find the exact value for the volume of this solid, giving your answer as a single simplified fraction. So we need to find now, we need what? We need the volume. We need the volume of the this shape after uh, solid uh, revolution and this solid revolution after rotate through 2 by in radian let us start to solve let us start to make this part c now the volume is equal to now he make the revolution about x by 2 pi so it will the h will be equal to pi integration from 0 to pi over 2 which is i need the area y squared dx so this is the volume which is equal to pi integration from 0 to pi over 2 y square which is x x plus sine 2x squared dx this part is the upper part here so let us write now the equation it will be equal to y this integration is the upper part here so x x bar 3 divided by 3 so pi over 2 bar 3 divided by 3 plus half sine 2 pi over 2 and then minus pi over 2 cosine 2 y over 2 plus half y over 2 minus 1 over 8 sine 4 y over 2 plus and then let us start if we 
if we go through zero, if we go through the zero, all of them will be zero. This part will be zero. Sine zero equal to zero. And then here cosine, and here x, so it will be zero. Here x, it will be zero. Here sine zero again, it will be zero. So all of the part will be zero. So no need to add any more part. Now let us close this part. Finish. We don't have anything here. Okay. So now y. by power 3 divided by 8 multiplied by 3 plus sine by sine 180 sine 180 equal to 0 so plus 0 minus now cosine by Cosine one eighty minus one, so it will be minus minus plus y over two here plus y over four here this part minus zero, minus zero. so now y y over 3 divided by y over 3 divided by 24 plus y over 2 plus y over 4 it will equal to y y power 3 divided by 24 plus 3 by over 4 let us take y outside so it will be by by power three divided by twenty four twenty four divided by four equal to six x six multiplied by three equal to eighteen so plus eighteen by so it will equal to y square y squared plus 18 divided by 24 and this is your final answer this is your final answer the cone has internal radius of 3 meter and vertical height of 5 meter as shown in the figure so this is 3 and this is the height now at time t second the height of the water h meter the volume of the water v meter cube and the water leak leaking from the hole in the bottom of the container so there is a leakage from the container at constant rate 0 0.02 what is the meaning of constant rate constant rate means dv by dt now there is a leak so the edge will decrease so this part is minus minus 0 0.02 so dv by dt is equal to minus 0 0.02 now he showed that while the water is leaking h square dh by dt is equal to minus 1 over k multiplied by y where k is constant to be found so let us start to solve this question so a we need us to approve that the h squared d h y d t dx by dc is equal to minus 1 over k y. when k we need to find k now I know that dv by dt 
is equal to we have here the equation dv by dt is equal to minus 0.02 so dh by dt if I need it now dv by dt multiplier by dh by dv so dv will go with dv the remaining will be dh divided by dt so we need to find now dh by dv let us go ahead here to find the equation of the volume volume is equal to as here written here 1 over 3 1 over 3 by r squared h we need r to be as h we, where, which r? r is here this r this is our r so this r now r if we go through this part now I have big triangle and the small triangle the height of the big triangle is 5 the height of the small triangle is h so r divided by 3 the small divided by the big is equal to h divided by 5 h divided by 5 similar triangle so r is equal to 3h divided by 5 3h divided by 5 so the volume of the water would be equal to 1 over 3 by 3h over 5 square multiplied by h so v is equal to 1 over 3 by 9h square divided by 25 multiplied by h so let us write the equation down here we have now volume is equal to 3 divided by 25 by h power 3. We need actually dh by dv. So let us find dv by dh. dv by dh is equal to 3 divided by 25 multiplier by by multiplier by 3 h square so it will equal to dv by dh is equal to 9 divided by 25 by h square from here i can write now dh by dv is equal to 25 divided by 9 by h square okay let us go ahead to this equation now dv by dt i know that minus 0 0.02 and i find here the value of dv by dh so let us go ahead and multiply dh by dt is equal to minus 0 0.02 by 25 divided by 9 by h squared according to the question he need the h squared here so h squared multiplier by dh by dt will equal to we need something minus 1 and he need k here okay so let us go to our calculator 0 0.02 multiplier by 25 divided by 9 is equal to 18 so the value here is 18 so we find already the equation and the k is equal to 18
k is equal to et. He asks you to find the k. This is the value of k. Let us read this, uh, the second part of the question. And that the container is initially full of water. Express h in term of t. So at t equal to zero, the, the height, the tank is completely full. And so h equal to five and the r equal to three. Okay, now he needs the relation between h and t. We have that dv by dt is equal to minus 0 0.02. So let us start to solve this part, part b. Now dv by dt equal to minus 0 0.02. So let us make integration and integration. So v is equal to minus 0 0.02 c plus c at t equal to 0 r equal to 3 h equal to 5 so the volume and the volume of course is equal to 1 over 3 by r squared h so it's 1 over 3 by 9 by 5 this one by this one so the answer here is 3 so the answer is 15 by so now 15 by is equal to minus 0 0.02 multiplied by 0 plus c so c is equal to 15 by now we have the equation v is equal to minus 0 0.02 t plus 15 y. Now the relation between the volume and the height is here, this one. Volume is equal to 2 over 25 by h or 3. We already calculated before. So let us add now 3 over 25 by h or 3 again we calculate this before 3 over 25 by h or 3 so now will equal to minus 0 0.02 t plus 15 y now we need h let us multiply by the uh, 25 divided by 3 of 3 by so h power 3 is equal to 25 divided by 3 over by minus 0 0.02 t plus 15 y. So let us find the h. h, h bar 3 was equal to 25 multiplied by minus 0 0.02 divided by 3 by multiplied by t plus 25 multiplied by 15 by divided by 3 by this one goes this one this one give us here 5 so h power 3 is equal to let us find this part 25 by my by 0 0.02 divided by 3 1 over 6 by so minus t divided by 6 y plus 5 multiplied by 25, 125. 5 multiplied by 25, 125. So h is equal to the cubic root of 125 minus t divided by 6 y. And this is the relation between the h and i okay let us go ahead to the last part find the time taken to for the, the container to empty giving you answer to the nearest minutes now let us find the third part so he need uh, a, a time when empty the tank so see 
h equal to zero, we need t. So now zero is equal to 125 minus t divided by 6y. So zero will equal to 125 minus t divided by 6y. So t is equal to 125 multiplied by 6y. Let us find this part. 125 multiplied by 6 multiplied by y. So it will equal to 2356.19 seconds. So t was equal to, he needed to nearest minute. So this answer divided by 60 will equal to 39.3 minutes. 39, so it will equal to 39 minutes. Okay. So this is uh, the t, the time to empty the time that we need to empty the thing. The time that we need to empty the thing. Okay? Given that f of x is bigger than or equal 0 and less than or equal y, sketch the graph of y equal to f of x, where f of x is equal to arc cosine x minus 1. And the x is bigger than or less 0 and less than or equal to 2. The equation arc cosine x minus 1 minus tan x equal to 0 has single root. The first part here to make the sketch, you must remember the arc, uh, arc cosine sketch. If you like to draw, this is, would be your sketch. Approximately, this is, would be your sketch. Now, the equation arc cosine x minus 1 minus tan x equal to zero has a single root alpha. Show that alpha is bigger than 0 0.9 and less than 1.1. Now the equation is arc cosine x minus one minus tan x minus, minus tan x. So now, he said that a proof that alpha is bigger than 0 0.9 and less than 1.1. To start to find the uh, answer, let us use 0 0.9. So r cosine 0 0.9 minus 1 minus 10 0 0.9 was equal to. Let us start to find this solution. The first step now change the mode to radian instead of degree and then start shift cosine point nine minus one close the bracket and then minus ten point nine close the bracket so it will equal positive zero point four one 0 0.4108 0, 0.8 Now let us start 1.1 arc cosine 1.1 minus 1 minus 10 1.1 is equal to the same step but instead of 0 0.9 1.1 and here instead of 0 0.9 1.1 so minus 4 0 0.49 minus 0 0.4194 so now we have a change in sign so at 0 0.9 positive at 1.1 negative so we have we have 
so alpha is bigger than 0 0.9 and less than 1.1 1 .1 has one root let us go ahead to the last part the iteration formula xn plus 1 arc tan arc cosine xn minus 1 can be used to find the approximate of alpha. Taking alpha 0 is equal to 1.1, find the 3 decimal place the value of x1 and x2. Let us start now taking x0 equal to 1.1. So let us start to solve this question. This is part C. We have x0 equal to 1.1. Okay, and the equation, the iteration is equal to x n minus plus 1 is equal to arc tan arc cosine x n minus 1. Let us start. Let us put x0. So x0 plus 1, which is equal to x1, is equal to arc tan arc cosine 1.1 minus 1. So it will be shift tan minus 1. And then shift cosine minus 1, 0 0.1, close, close effect. So it is equal to x1, 0 0.974. So x1 is equal to 0 0.974. And this is the first one he needs. Now, x1 plus 1, x1 plus 1, which is equal to x2, will be arc tan, arc cosine, now 0 0.974 minus 1. So, let us find this answer. Now, here... 0 0.974 minus 1 so the x2 1.011 so x2 is equal to 1.011 and this is the second one we need okay finish let us read this question given that k is a, uh, a positive constant Get the graph with, the, with equation y equal to 2 absolute x minus k. Show in your sketch the coordinate of each point at which the graph cross the x-axis and y-axis. To start to draw this curve, you know that this will be p curve. So this is how it looks like your curve. Just to give him the point of intersection here and the point of intersection here must see this value and this value and this value so this intersection and this one and this one so this is the solution of part a let us go ahead now find in term of k the value of x for which two absolute x minus k is equal to half x plus one over four k so now he will, we need to find the, the value of x in term of k. The value of x in term of k. this part. This is very easy part. So let us start to solve. Now we have this is part b. Now the equation is two absolute x minus k is equal to half x plus 1 over 4 k this absolute means minus and positive so 2x minus k 
equal to half x plus 1 over 4. Okay, this is the first equation. The second one, minus 2x minus k is equal to half x minus plus 1 over 4k. Okay, so 1 time plus and 1 time minus. So from this part, 2x minus half x is equal to 1 over 4 k plus k so from here 3 over 2 x equal to 5 over 4 k so x is equal to 5 over 4 multiplied by 2 over 3 k so this one by this one 2 so here x is equal to 5 over 6 k and this is the first x. Let us go to this equation. Minus 2x minus half x is equal to 1 over 4k plus k. So from here minus 5 over 2x is equal to 5 over 4k. So now x is equal to minus 5 over 4 multiplied by 2 over 5 k okay. this one goes this one this one goes this one give us 2 so x is equal to minus half k okay. and this is the second value of this is the second value of x okay let us go ahead to the last question in this exam A scientist is studying a population of insects. The number of the insect in is in the population t days after the start of the study and uh, modeled by the equation. It's modeled by the equation. This is the equation n, which is the number of insects is equal to 240 divided by 1 plus k e power minus t divided by 16 where k is constant given that where uh, given that there were uh, there were 50 insects at the start of the study so at the start of the study means at t equal to zero so here start of the study means t equal to zero at t equal to zero 50 insects they have so n equal to 50 now he asks you to find the k. So let us find the k. This is the first equation A. So now the equation said that n is equal to n is equal to 240 240 divided by 1 plus k e power minus t divided by 16 so n is equal to 50 equal to 240 divided by 1 plus k e power 0 e power 0 is equal to 1 so 50 is equal to 240 divided by 1 plus k so 1 plus k is equal to 240 divided by 50. So k is equal to 240 divided by 50 minus 1. Let us find the value of, the, of k. Let me start to change now to digit again. So 3, 240 divided by 50 minus 1 19 over 5 so k is 19 19 over 5 this is the value of k let us go ahead use model use the model to find the value of t when n equal to 100 so the same step the same step at B, 
but now the given data is n equal to 100 he ask about t he ask about t so again 100 is equal to the equation is 240 divided by 1 plus k e t over minus t minus t over 16 so 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 is equal to 240 divided by 100 which is equal to 2.4 so k which is 19 divided by 5 e minus t divided by 16 is equal to 2.4 minus 1 so e minus t divided by 16 is equal to 2.4 minus 1 is equal to 7 multiplied by 5 divided by 19 is equal to 7 divided by 19 7 7 divided by 19 so let us take now len for both direction and remove the negative so t divided by 16 is equal to len len 7 divided by 19 so t will equal to 16 len 7 divided by 19 this is your t now this is n we need to approve that d n by dt 1 over b n minus 1 over q n squared and the unit q now we have n is equal to 240 multiplied by 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 power minus 1 let us find dn by dt dn by dt is equal to 240 multiplied by this division minus 1 differentiation minus 1 and then 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 it will be minus 2 multiplied by this part k e minus t divided by 16 and then this part multiplied by minus 1 over 16 minus minus mean positive so it will be positive 240 divided by 16 240 divided by 16 is equal to 15 so 15 15 multiplied by k e minus t divided by 16 divided by 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 squared this part i need to transfer to this equation so to transfer this to this equation means that it will be equal to a divided by here square so i will take the same square what 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 square plus b divided by again 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 without any square because i need 1 over n and 1 over n square now let us make equal the both direction so 15 right now d n d n y dt equal to the first part which is here a so a equal to minus 15 minus 15 divided by 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 square plus b divided by b here is 15 so plus let's move and add 15 plus 15 
divided by 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 and that's it so now n we know that n is equal to 240 divided by 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 so from here 1 divided by 1 plus k e minus t divided by 16 this part will equal to n divided by 240 so let us now go to dn by dt dn by dt will equal to the first one minus 15 multiplier by n divided by 240 square plus 15 multiplier by n divided by 240 so now dn by dt let us find this one first 15 divided by 240 15 divided by 240 1 over 16 1 over 16 n plus minus minus 15 divided by 250 square so this one square 1 over so minus 1 over 3 what does it bring again 3840 3840 140 n squared so now we transfer to the equation that we need which is 1 over b minus 1 over q n squared so b is equal to 16 and q is equal to 3840 and this is uh, the answer that we need this is the end of this exam i hope you understand everything good luck bye